Ah, uh, there's nothing more that I love than the beautiful flavors of, you know, this kind of the, this time of year when you do like, you know, January, February, March, April, well, you all these beautiful um, citrus fruits. And this is a Satsuma orange. And um, some people call them mandarins, orange. You know, I haven't seen people like mark them in the grocery stores, clementines. They are not a clementine, but they are Satsumas. And that's what I just, that's what I call them. But they have this beautiful pithy um, outside. And I just want to just show you like how pithy this is because you can just peel it right before I cut it all beautiful. You can really see like how like riny and awesome that flavor is. Is the fruit good? Yeah, it's good. But the rind is where like all the things are beautiful about it and I love it. So we're going to take um, some peels and we are going to make today a cocktail that I think is really unique. Uh, well, it is unique. It's kind of marrying the love of the old fashioned with the love of the presentation of a julep. And I'm sure that a million people may have done this before. I have not done this really that much before because I love, you know, crushes and, and, and juleps and all the flavors. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of a squeeze before I put it into the bottom of my shaker tin. And then I'm gonna take my mini sage, right? We talked about mini sage um, in our tip in the previous episode. And if you haven't seen that, you can uh, go back and um, watch this on Instagram and, we, and talk about it. We're gonna take about, I don't know, an ounce, like an ounce container, like a little bit. So let's talk, let's, let's, let's put it in a different way. Uh, like 20 mini sage leaves, okay? And you're saying, oh, that sounds like a lot. It's not, they are mini and they are tender and they are sweet and they are beautiful. Now we're just gonna give it a gentle muddle. You're not trying to like rip it apart into little pieces. You're just trying to get like the aromatics. All of we're doing in the bottom of this is just getting aromatics. So if you smell this right now, it just smells super wonderful. Like it's bright, it could be a perfume, it's so lovely. Um, we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna use our Uncle Nearest. And this is, um, you could build this as a julep if you wanted to. We're gonna actually give this a little bit of a shake and then we're gonna strain it into our glass and then fill it with crushed ice. So it's a little marrying two different techniques, but it's all worth it in the end, I promise. So we're gonna do two and a quarter. Do you know the quarter is just because. Quarter ounces of um, Uncle Nearest. I really love the 1856. It to me, just, you know, the vanilla, the, f the smells of the aromatics are lovely, beautiful. And then we're gonna use a Satsuma and um, Sassafras syrup, which we will give you a recipe for, one ounce. Now you can do a little bit less if you want. I like it a little bit sweeter. So I put in one ounce. You could do three quarters of an ounce if you want, if you want it less. And we're gonna do two dashes. And this you wanna be careful, right? You just did all that beautiful work to get the flavors. So now we're gonna do like one long dash or a half dash of, of Angostura bitters, right? So now all these things are in here. It smells so good. I keep smelling it because I cannot get over how good it actually smells. So. No ice, okay? We're not trying to get any water on this one because we're gonna put crushed ice over it. Just wanna make sure that it's all mixed up. Even though you gently pressed it, you did all those things, I know, I know. Maybe you think that this is an unnecessary step. I think this is a necessary step and it's my cocktail. So we're gonna give this a little dry shake and then we're gonna take all of the things that were just in there and we're going to strain them. I know, right? Now the complicated step, except what you're left with is all the beauty of the julep without getting stuck in your teeth. Now I know that you put the ice and all the stuff, but if you're like me and you eat the ice after, it still gets stuck in your teeth. So prior to me making this cocktail, we crush some ice and um, I'm not very fancy. I just take a towel and I crush my ice and I take out all the anger I might have about traffic right here with just, you know, a good old muddler, a uh, kitchen towel and regular ice cubes. And I take my crushed ice and I'm gonna put it on top of my drink. And I chose this fun glass and I, I, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of like, just like happiness and like after work and not working and not working. So there we go. And it's, very, I don't know, southerny, if you will. And we're gonna take a little ploosh of the mini sage. 
and we're gonna put it across the top. And you know, sometimes you do with the orange, you put it across it, that you want the same aromatics to come out. So we give it a little bit of love. And there you have it. It's a really beautiful, lovely, seasonal, delicious cocktail. Cheers. Mm -hmm.